palms up or the palms down. And allow yourself to sit up tall in that state of nobility and dignity. Feel free to close the eyes ever so slightly, subtly allow the forehead to tilt downward, embodying that quality of humility. And in this detox practice, we're going to be moving through a whole multitude of twisting. On a physical level, this helps us to eliminate toxicity. But on a subtle level, it also grants us the opportunity to let go of that which no longer serves us in a positive way. And as we mentioned in other classes, there's a real power within letting go, letting go. And on some level, this program isn't here to add on to who you are. It's not here to fix you. It's really just an environment to let go of those things that are just obscuring health wisdom and vitality and all those benevolent qualities that we're born with that are innate. So before we start to move our body, can you dedicate this practice to letting go of something in your life that's no longer serving you? This may be something as simple as letting go of your, your addiction to sugar or caffeine, some sort of food that and really giving your body the proper nutrition that it needs. It could also be something deeper. It could be letting go of a, a toxic relationship in your life. Or it could be something within yourself, like the need to be perfect, the need to always be right. The very often the biggest obstacle to our awakening and our transformation doesn't even exist outside of us, it exists inside of us. And when we take a moment like this to pause, to contemplate, to allow ourselves a little bit of time for deep reflection and we get honest with ourselves, then we can clearly see what those things are. In your own way, just silently dedicate this practice to letting this go, whatever this is. And from here, take a nice deep inhale through your nose, fill your lungs up with breath, and out the mouth, exhale, just let it all go. Good. From here, go ahead and open up the eyes. Take the left hand, extend it over towards the left on the ground. Take the right arm and just reach out all the way up and over, just coming into a nice, easy side bend stretch. Allow that left sit bone to anchor down into the ground. Every pose has an anchor. And essentially what we're doing is we're moving body parts away from that anchor and that creates space or freedom within the body space, lightness, freedom, mobility, to complement your strength. Give that one last little reach. Come all the way back up. Take that right hand, cross it over to your left knee. Place your left thumb onto the ground right behind the tailbone. Take an inhale, lift up tall through the chest. Elevate your spine long. And then on the exhale, peel the left chest open, just coming into your first twist of this practice and be mindful that as you twist that you're initiating the twist from above your diaphragm so think that upper half of your torso so that you're always twisting from length and integrity give that one last squeeze goodbye turn the gaze forward and then nice and easy slowly unwind out of the twist both hands flat on the knees palms down and on an inhale, draw your chest up, gently lean back and look up. And on the exhale, round the back as you curl the chin in towards the chest. Good. A few more of those just on your own. We call them the seated cat and cows. Just starting to limber up the spine a little bit. And also beginning to work together with the breath and the movement. Just finding what we call vinyasa.
hips, you guys. And then let's come back to a neutral spine. Switch the cross of your legs. So bring the opposite leg in front. This will probably be your, your more funky side. Feel a little bit awkward. And then we'll take the right hand, reach that over towards the right. Take that left arm and reach it all the way up and over. Just coming into that side bend on the other side. And of course, plenty of time to go deeper. So when you begin your practice and your body's just a little more stiff, a little bit more tight, to just be extra cautious that you're not pushing, you're not jamming your way into the pose. So just making sure that you bring that sensitivity and that gentleness to how you approach your edge. And as you find that edge, just gently leaning into it, breathing into it. And as you breathe, the breath will begin to shift the edge. You begin to create more and more space. And you do it with that energy or that quality of compassion. Give that one last little reach. Come all the way back up. Cross the left hand over to the right knee. Place the right thumb up to the ground behind you. Take an inhale, lift up tall through your chest. Pull your sternum up away from your sacrum. And then on the exhale, peel that right chest open. And you might even imagine somebody that you love in your life just gently placing their thumb right there at your lower back or sacral bone very gently pressing into that sacrum so that you sit up just a tad taller and in the same way that American football is called a game of inches in yoga this could be a game of centimeters so never underestimate the power of subtlety never underestimate the power of just a, a slight little adjustment and how that can light up the body and light up the pose and light up the mind give that one last squeeze goodbye Turn that gaze forward and slowly unwind out of the twist. And then tabletop pose, all fours position as you uncross the legs and the feet. From here, go ahead and step back to plank pose, upper push-up position. And just take a couple breaths there, just allowing the outer shoulders to wrap back, to engage the thighs, to engage the core. And to just create that nice, sharp, crisp diagonal from your heels all the way up through the top of the head. Take a final goodbye inhale there in plank position. And then on the exhale, lower down. And as you lower down, shifting that weight forward so that the energy is in the triceps and not the shoulders. Beautiful. Releasing down onto the belly. Keep the hands as is. Release the tops of the feet. Spin back to the toes. And then twisting cobra to the right. So on the inhale, lift the chest up. And then peel that right chest, right shoulder back. And then exhale, lower chest and chin down to the back. And then other side, on the inhale, peel that left chest open. And then on the exhale, lower down, soft. Now come right up the middle. So inhale, heart up, shoulders slide down the back. Elbows hug in towards the ribs. And then downward dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips, drop the head. And for your first down dog, just feel free to move the body around in any way that feels right. Check it in, sussing things out, see how you're feeling. Scan your awareness to the terrain, the landscape of your body. And just do a little check in. And whatever's being revealed to you, not working against it, you're working with it. Yoga is about working with yourself instead of against yourself. So instead of there being some sort of conflict going on with the relationship to your body and your mind, there's harmony. There's a good relationship that's being cultivated. And we know that when the relationship to our own selves is healthy, the other relationships that exist within our life become more healthy. It all starts with you. This is why your practice is so important. Take a final good by inhale, gently press the hips back. And exhale, walk both feet all the way forward to the top of the mat. Spread the feet out about the width of your hips. And then flat back, inhale, extend the spine out. And then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Good. Now take the left hand, reach it over, grab the outer right ankle or calf. Put a little bend into the left knee, and then take that right arm, and just float it all the way up to the sky. Just coming into a nice, easy twist. And as 
with your left knee bends. Again, just like you did seated, extend your sternum out away from your sacrum. Each inhale getting a little longer in the spine. Take one last inhale, roll that right chest open. Then exhale, right hand all the way down to the ground. Second side, right hand reaches over, grab the outer left ankle. Put a little bit into the right knee. And then take that left arm and just cruise it all the way up to the sky. See where it feels good to position your gaze, whether you're looking up, maybe looking down, or maybe looking straight over towards the left side. Spread those left fingers nice and wide. Feel those bottom right ribs turning underneath and in. And then wherever you're at, take one last inhale, full expression. And then exhale, left hand all the way back to the ground. Good, flat back on the inhale, extend the heart out. And forward fold, exhale, let it go. Circle those arms up to the sky. On the inhale, reach. And turn to the right on the exhale, spreading wide like a capital T. To the front, on the inhale, both arms lift back up. And other side, exhale for your perfect touch. Come to the front, on the inhale, arms back up above. And then forward fold, exhale, like a moving prayer. Flat back, inhale, hands down, chest out. Step back to plank pose, lower down. Same exhale, breathing out. Cobra twist to the right. Inhale, peel open. Exhale, lower slow. Cobra twist to the left. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Light up the middle. Inhale, heart draws up. And then down dog, exhale, tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Come back to that breath. And each and every inhale, you're pulling that breath deep as it'll go. And each and every exhale, you're letting go whatever it is that you dedicated this practice to. The exhales are the opportunity to release. Now from here, come up onto the tips of the toes. Elevate the heels and the hips. And then swivel your heels to the right. Heels go right, toes go left. And you come into a little twisting, side stretch down dog. So feel that stretch across the whole entire left side of your torso. And see if you can breathe right into those left ribs. Breathe right into that left lung. Good, inhale, come back up to center. And then exhale, other side, heels go left, toes go right. So as those hips shift over to the left as well, feeling that stretch in the waist, the ribs, the lats, and now breathing into that right lung. Awesome, come all the way back up to neutral. Keep those hips high, and then drive both heels down low. Let those heels be heavy. From here, take an inhale, stretch those hips back. Then exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, spine reaches out. And forward fold, exhale, let it go. Circle those arms up to the sky, inhale, rise up. Twist to the right, all on the exhale in that T position. Good, inhale, both arms back up. And exhale, other side. Upward salute, inhale, maybe lean back a little at the top. Forward fold, exhale, just moving with that music of the breath. Flat back, inhale, breathe it deep. And step, lower down, same out breath. Over twisting right, inhale, side of the spine massage. Exhale, lower down. Other side, inhale, left chest peels. Exhale, lower slow. Right up the middle, inhale, heart draws up, elbows still in. And then down dog, exhale, hips high again. This time, while you're hanging out there, breathing free, breathing deep. Take your right hand, reach it over, and grab onto your outer left ankle or calf. So coming into a one arm down dog, which is also a twist. It just so happens that you're balancing upside down. Now from here, speaking of balancing, if you want to add on to this, see if you can lift your right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. And chances are, if you're like me, 
you're going to fall out of the bones. And that that's okay, just like we do in the balancing practice. We're falling, we're stumbling, but it's, it's all about your effort, not the outcome. Good. If that right leg is lifted, lower it slow to the ground. Bring the right hand back to the top of the mat. Other side. Left hand reaches over. Grab them to that outer right ankle or calf. And turn and look underneath that right arm. And then a nice dynamic press into that right hand. Good. If you want to level it up, go ahead and lift your left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. And as you lift it up, just keep breathing free, keep breathing deep, and embrace that fall. So there's that playful spirit. It's all good. Awesome. Left foot comes back down. Left hand top of the mat. Outer shoulders wrapping back. Undersides of those knuckles glued into the mat. With those hips high, with those heels low, take a huge inhale, press everything back. Exhale, walk or fly, top of your mat. Fly back, inhale, pull it out. Forward fold, exhale, dissolve. Circle those arms up, inhale, create length and space. Twist it to the right, moving with yoga grace. Good, inhale like your favorite athlete, you flow. Exhale, other side. Good, inhale to the front, both arms reach. And then forward fold, exhale, let it all go down. Flat back, inhale, heart reaches out. Step back to plank, lower down, elbows in, core engage. Cobra twist right on the inhale. Lower down, exhale. Cobra twist left on the inhale. Lower down, exhale. Cobra up the middle, inhale, just till it feels amazing. Exhale back, downward facing dog. All right, you guys, as usual, we do have a lot of ground to cover, so uh, that feels good for those. Let's go ahead and move on from there. Come down dog, shift forward to a plank pose, upper push-up position. Bring your feet together, spin onto the outer edge of the right foot, and then lean into that right hand, reach that left arm all the way to the sky. Some of you looked a little scared like those six yogi push-ups were about to happen. Don't worry, they're coming later. Good, now from here, take a big inhale, open your left chest wide, and then on the exhale, reach that left arm underneath the right arm like you're threading a needle. Good, back up, inhale, reach, and exhale, bring it underneath. One more like that, inhale, reach, and then exhale, thread that needle. Good, left arm back up to the sky, inhale. Set the left hand down to the ground, and then straight into the other side. So swivel onto the outer left foot, lean into the fresh left arm, reach the right arm up, take a breath or two there, and feel that rapport into the floor. Good, now from here, open up that right chest, inhale, and then thread it underneath that left arm, exhale. Bring it back up to the sky, inhale, and then underneath and thread, exhale. One more time, inhale, spread those wings. Exhale, underneath and reach. Now back up to the sky, inhale. Set the right hand to the ground, plank position, and then drop your forearms to the ground, forearm plank pose. Now you can bring the hands together and interlace, or you can keep the hands spread the width of the shoulders. Now imagine that you have super glue on your elbows, and so they're gonna stay completely attached to the ground. So without moving the upper body, swivel your heels to the right on an inhale, and then bring your heels back to middle, exhale. Good, other side, heels go left, inhale. And then back to middle, exhale. Two more rounds, inhale, go right. Exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, go left. And exhale, back to middle, one more round. Inhale, right. And exhale, back to middle. Inhale, left. And exhale back to middle. Hold there. Come back up onto the hands. Upper push-up plank pose. Take an inhale to set. Chaturanga. Exhale lower. Cobra up dog. Inhale. And then down dog. Exhale. So hopefully now you're awake. It's happening, right? It's happening. You knew it was coming. Just a matter of time. 
Take an inhale, stretch back to the tops of your thighs. And then exhale, walk or fly, both feet top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees, squat down. Chair pose, reach both arms all the way up to the sky. Shifting that weight back into the hips and back into the glutes. Now from here, take an inhale, reach up through the arms. And then sweep the hands to the right on the exhale like you're clearing the path. Come back up the middle on the inhale. And then sweep it to the other side like you're just removing whatever it is you want to let go. Inhale, back up to chair. Sweep the arms behind, belly on thighs. Come back up to chair one more time, inhale. And then forward fold, exhale, let it all go. Now flat back, inhale, extend that spine up and out. Step or jump back, lower down, traditional vinyasa. Cobra or up dog, inhale. And then downward dog, exhale. Good, now right leg lifts up, inhale, nice and steady. Bring your right knee to your left tricep and cross. Good, inhale, right leg back. And then right knee, right tricep, the other arm. Pull the right leg back, inhale. Bring the right knee to your left arm. Hold there this time. Spin your back foot flat. Lean into the right hand. Shoot your left arm to the sky. Now extend your right leg out. And if it's available for you, you're going to lift that right leg, that right foot off the ground. So you're challenging your balance. You're challenging your strength. And she's even smiling. She gets bonus points for that. Take an inhale, open up. Set the left hand down to the ground. Good, inhale, right leg back, three legs off. Right foot forward, top of the mat, runner's lunge. On your back toes, crescent pose. Go ahead and rise all the way up. Taking a moment to find your balance. As you establish that balance and that strong foundation, take an inhale, rise, and lift up to the arms. And then turn to the right on the exhale, just like you did from mountain pose. Good, come back to the front, inhale, crescent. And then warrior two, spin your back foot flat. Open your feet out a nice stable distance. Sit back, groin down knee. Bend that right knee right above that right ankle, right heel. Take that back out of left thigh. Press that slightly forward so you're balanced and even through the pelvis. And then find that laser-like gaze out across that right middle finger. Beautiful, you guys. Keeping that right arm as is for a moment. Take your left hand, bring it around behind your back. And if it's available for you, you might even grab the inner thigh. But if not, you just rest it on the lower back. Now flip your right palm to the sky. And then put that into reverse. Just come reach it all the way up and back. As you get long and you get lean. But you do it with the mind quiet. Focus, calm, centered, and serene. Take one last inhale, deep in that. Come back to warrior two pose. Good, now place the right hand down on the outside of your right foot onto a yoga block or the floor. Side angle pose. You've been here before in other classes. Good, see if you can stack the right knee above the right heel still. See if you can still strong to the outer blade of that back left foot. See if you can have an active arch through that inner left foot. Good, now open up the left chest. And then extend that left arm forward and out. Just reach, breathe, lengthen. Good, now left arm back to the sky in and out. Set it to the ground on the exit. And then pivot onto the back left pose. Runner's lunge. Now from here, bring the right leg back, floating plank. So you're going to lift the right foot up, and you're going to stack the right toes right on top of your left Achilles heel. Now with your feet stacked like that, inhale, lower down, chaturanga, and exhale, push up. Good. Five more lows. Inhale. I told you they were coming. Exhale, press up. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, rise up halfway. Inhale, sweat starting to flow. Exhale, two to go. Inhale, come on, Sarah, you got it. Exhale, press it up, last one. Inhale, dig deep. Exhale, press up, hold there. Lift that right foot up, inhale. Set it down, exhale. Take a good bye, inhale. 
Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra, inhale, let's detox, guys. Exhale back, down dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it go. Woo, good. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, right tricep, exhale, cross. Pull it back, inhale. Left knee, left arm, exhale, touch. Draw back, inhale. Left knee, right arm, hold there. Spin the back foot flat, lean into the left hand, and then reach that right arm to the sky as you root through that bottom left hand. Good, that bottom leg extending out, a little balance, a little strength. Good, open that right chest a little wider. Set the right hand down to the ground. Press the left leg back, three leg dog in out. Top of the mat, exhale, toes lined up with your fingertips. When you're ready, rise up. Press and pose, both arms, vertical to the sky. Good, drop down low through that left eye. Take an inhale, reach up, and twist it to the left. Left arm back, right arm forward, chest tall as can be. Now on a beautiful inhale, turn to the front, both arms to the sky. And then warrior two, spin that back foot flat. Set that right arm hovering right above the right leg. And with that good alignment, and with that good focus and concentration, everything will fall into place. Take the right hand, bring it around behind the back. If it's available, grab onto that inner thigh. Flip that left palm up to the sky, and then put it into reverse. Good, keep bending that left knee a little deep. Remember, every pose has an anchor. Right now, that's your left knee, left eye. And you're moving your upper body away from that ankle. Take a final inhale, enhance that, and then back to your warrior two pose. Good, left hand down, outside of left foot, onto the block or the ground. Side angle pose, this time on the other side. Good, left hand pressing a little, right arm reaching a little. And you feel that spaciousness across the back of the chest. Open up that right chest in now, and then extend that right arm forward and out, creating another beautiful line of energy from that right foot all the way up through those fingertips. And then a little turn of the bottom ribs underneath and in. Those right ribs roll into the sky. Bring that right arm back up on the end now. Set it down, pivot onto right toes, exhale. Bring the left leg back, inhale, off the ground. Set it on top of that right heel. Six more. Stack feet yogi style push-ups. Let's get fearless. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, press it up. Good inhale like a warrior. Exhale, rise. Inhale, drop strong. Exhale, mind calm. Inhale, you got these. Exhale, two to go. Inhale, hover. Exhale, press. Inhale, last one. Exhale, those are done. Hold in there, lift that left foot up, inhale. Set it down, exhale. Hold for the inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra, up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. Woo, we're leveling up, you guys. All right, now let's level that up. And let's take it into a flow. Just a flow, two rounds. Sweet little detoxing, twisting flow. Are you ready, Emmy? She's ready. Are you ready, Sarah? Is everybody else ready? All right, they're ready, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Here we go. Inhale, press the hips back. Exhale, walk or fly, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, squat. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Sweep it to the right, clearing that path. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep away the resistance. Inhale, chair up. Sweep it back, exhale, let it go. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold, let the head drop. Flat back, inhale, breathe the energy in. Step or jump back, lower down, elbows in. Cobra up dog, you get to choose. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, touch. Inhale, pull that back. Exhale, right arm, other side. Inhale, draw back. 
Exhale, left arm, hold that foot flat, leading to right hand, left arm up, bottom leg out, inhale. Set it down, exhale. Press the right leg back, inhale. Top of your yoga mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, rise up. Twist it to the right, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Extended side angle, exhale. Good, left arm up, inhale. Set it to the ground, pivot onto back toes, exhale. Bring the right leg back, inhale, flow. Set it on top of left heel, exhale. Now drop down, inhale, chaturanga. Push up, exhale. Lift the right foot up, inhale. Plank pose, exhale, hold. Take it, inhale, goodbye. Chaturanga, try not to collapse. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog, oh my goodness. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, right arm touch. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale, pull long. Exhale, right arm hold, back foot flat. Inhale, right arm up, left leg out. Exhale, right hand to ground. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, top of the mat. Press and pose, rise and lift. Twist it to the left, wide like a T. Inhale, press and reach. Warrior two, turn. Reverse that warrior inhale. Extended side angle exhale. Bring the right arm up inhale. Set it to the ground exhale. Pivot onto right toes. Inhale left leg back to hover. Set it on right heel exhale. Chaturanga inhale. Push up exhale. Press the left arm up. Exhale set it down. Inhale plank. Chaturanga exhale. Cobra up dog inhale. Down dog, exhale, one more round, inhale, press back, exhale, fly, top of your back, inhale, forward fold, exhale, bend and squat, chair pose, don't forget to smile, exhale, twist it right, inhale, come up, exhale, twist left, inhale, rise, exhale, behind, inhale, reach to the sky, exhale, you dive, Flat back, inhale, mats rolling and flowing. Step or jump back, lower down, we got this. Inhale, we're all in it together. Exhale like a flock of birds, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, left arm touch. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, right arm touch. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, left arm connect, back foot flat. Left arm up, right leg out, inhale. Set hand to ground, exhale. Right leg back, inhale, top of the mat, exhale. Press and pose, we're cruising. Twist it to the right, we're not losing. Inhale, both arms up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, exhale, extended side ankle. Left arm up, inhale, to the ground, exhale, on back toes. Inhale, right leg back to lift, set it on left heel, exhale. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, plank rise. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, set it down. Take an inhale, goodbye. Exhale, steady mind. Inhale, still fearless. Exhale, down dog, last side, left leg up, inhale. Right arm, exhale, cross. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, right arm, hold back, foot flat. Right arm up, left leg out, inhale. Exhale, hand to ground. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, stick it deep. Inhale, now rise and reach. Exhale, twist it left. Inhale, press and pose. Exhale, warrior two with courage. Reverse that warrior inhale. Extend that side angle, exhale. Right arm up, inhale. Right hand to ground on back toes, exhale. Left foot back, inhale, lift. Set it on right heel, exhale. Inhale, chaturanga, exhale, press strong. Inhale, left foot up, exhale, set it down. Inhale, goodbye, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, pump that blood into the spine. Exhale, you made it, downward facing dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it go. Woo, you guys deserve a trophy or something for that. Oh, good job. Good. Now, from here, just crawl your hands all the way to the back of your yoga mat. And 
and just pull up your big toes first and fingers. And then flat back on an inhale, extend the heart out. And then forward fold, exhale, bend the elbows. And just let the head dangle free. You're about a half hour into your class. You're a little bit past the halfway point, which proves that time flies by even when you're not having fun. You know, you just get real present and you actually transcend time, place, and space. That's always a, a sign that you've shifted from what we call dark our focus into on our meditation. When you transcend time, place, and space, when all that goes away, that's a sign that you've accessed that deep in the tater state. So let's just see if we can stay in that. Stay in that at the same time. We continue to twist and wring this body out like a sponge. Because the body is a sponge. And it absorbs what exists in its environment. And unfortunately, there's a lot of pollutants in our environment. So we need to make sure that we keep expelling that out of our body so we stay as healthy as possible. Now from here, release the big toes. Crawl the hands forward to the top of your yoga mat, all the way back to a downward facing dog. Finding that even distribution away between your hands and your feet. Good, now right leg lifts up on and in. Bring right knee, right tricep, exhale, hold. Swing the right knee to your left arm, in now. Swing it to the right arm, exhale. Two more like that, inhale, swing it over. And exhale back to right arm. One more. Inhale, left arm. And exhale, right arm. Now pull the right leg back. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then flow it forward, top of the mat, runner's lunge. Crescent pose. Both arms up on the inhale. And then hands to prayer position on the exhale. Take your left elbow to your outer right knee, right thigh. Coming into lunging, prayer twist position. So left elbow down, facing the ground. Right elbow up, facing the sky. You're still elongating through the spine as you turn to the twist. And to complement all of that, can you lock in through your inner legs and your inner thighs? Feel those adductors engage. Now from here, take a good bite and down. Step the left foot forward, top of the mat, twisting chair, and exhale. Good, still twisting. So upper body, same position, just lower body shifted slightly. The knees are even, the weight in the heels, the weight back in those glutes, and your heart traveling up and out away from your hips. Now give that one last squeeze, and then chair pose, inhale, rise up. Stand up, mountain pose, on the exhale, hands to prayer. Oh, good, now. Go ahead and lean into your left foot and lift your right knee up and just grab your right shin and squeeze your right knee, right thigh deep into the belly as you plug like a root through that bottom left leg. Now for this next one, two options. One option, left hand to the outer right knee, that's the modification. Or if you want the full expression, you're gonna grab the outer edge of your right foot with your left hand. And then either way, you're gonna take the right arm and you're gonna extend it all the way towards the back of the space. So again, those of you that are practicing at home, remember, deeper isn't necessarily better. It takes wisdom to modify, it takes wisdom to pull back. Just because we're here to level up, this is about longevity, not stupidity. So find the variation that works for you. And as long as it's challenging and you're not straining, it's not overwhelming, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Now from here, turn to the front, extend both arms to the sky. Go ahead and extend that right leg all the way out here. Take a good by inhale, maybe you lift that right leg up a little more. Good, airplane pose, right leg back. Arms spread wide like wings. Good, and you gotta let go of the stuff that's bogging you down if you wanna take flight. And when you release the burdens and the heaviness, you start to get light. This pose, this practice, this program is about getting light. Now press and pose, slow mo, drop the right toes back, extend those arms to the sky. Take a huge inhale, reach up, lean back if you like, 
Set both hands to the ground, pause there. Straighten your left knee, left leg. Step the right foot forward about maybe a foot or so. So your feet are about three, three and a half feet apart. And your right toes are facing the top right hand corner of your yoga mat. So your hips are in that neutral rotation facing straight forward. Now from here, really easily, can you lean into your five right fingertips? Can you take your left arm and can you reach it all the way up to the sky? Just come into a twisting triangle. And can you stay heavy in your right heel? Nice and heavy in that right heel and lighten those right toes. Take the top of that left thigh, draw it back. Take that heart, pull it forward, keep leaning. Keep creating more and more of that space. Good, and then wherever you're at, take one last inhale, find the climax. Set the left hand down to the back. Good, now start to walk your hands forward and out, and then lift your right leg off the ground, parallel to the ground. Now keep the hips in that neutral rotation, and then lean back into your five right fingertips, or maybe a block underneath the hand. Take the left arm, and extend it all the way up to the sky, coming into twisting half moon balancing pose. Now you want that back leg to be super engaged. So imagine your right foot is on a wall and you're pressing that foot into the wall. And as you drive back through that right leg, then you propel that torso forward and out. Now you can stay there or you could bend your back right foot in, you could reach back with your left hand and you could grab that right foot. Good, but you keep pulling your heart forward. You keep rolling that left chest wide. And you keep those inner thighs engaged in towards the midline. Wherever you're at, take one last inhale there. Set the left hand down to the ground. Standing splits. Walk your hands in towards your left foot. And then grab the back of your left foot with your left hand. And then use that gently, compassionately, kindly. Good, sensuously to draw the forehead in towards the shin. Take one last inhale, right leg up. Set the right foot next to the left, top of the mat. Hallelujah. Woo! Flat back, in. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees and spine. Chair pose, inhale, the flow that never stops. Hands to prayer in front of the heart, left elbow, outer right knee, right thigh. Chair twist, facing the right. Michael Stebbins, the other right. There you go, brother. All right, good. So we've been in this pose already today. So I'd like to offer uh, just another option if you want. And that's the side crow variation. If you feel inspired, drop your hands onto the ground next to your right foot. Fingertips face over towards the right. And as Janine's getting set up here, she's taking her time. There's no rush. And when she's ready, she's going to shift. Her knees on top of the left tricep. And she's just lifting those feet off the ground. A lot of this is, is balance. It's finding that right kind of seesaw perspective where you're not going too far forward, but you're also not too far back. If you're in the side crow pose, just come back to chair, chair twist. Inhale back to chair, lift everything up. And forward fold exhale, let everything go. Flat back on the inhale. Step or jump back. Lower down, vinyasa exhale. Over up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Take an inhale down dog. Drop your knees to the ground on the exhale. Good, knees right underneath the hips. Tuck the toes underneath. And then lift your knees off the ground about an inch or two. Good, now these are called floating table side kick moves. Check this out, you're gonna spin onto the outer edge of your left foot. You're gonna kick your right leg out to the left, and you're gonna draw your left arm back like you're pulling back a bow and an arrow. And then you're gonna come back to center, back to floating table. Same thing other sucks. You take the left leg, kick it out to the right, right arm draws up the back. And then exhale, come back to neutral. Everybody's going different directions. <laughs> Good, we're gonna do a little bit more. Kick that right leg out to the left, left arm back. And exhale, left hand to the mat, back to floating table. Other side, kick the left leg out, right arm back. 
And exhale back to floating tape. One more round. Kick that leg out. Cock it back. Exhale, left hand down to mat. Good. Inhale, kick that left leg out. Exhale, back to floating tape. From floating table, step back to plank up for push up. Take an inhale there. Down dog, exhale, hips high in the air. Woo! Oh my goodness. Level up, the fun never stops. Right, Rob? <laughs> left leg to the sky, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale. Swing to the right, inhale. Swing left, exhale. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, left arm. Inhale, right side. Exhale, left side. Inhale, left leg back, back side. Exhale, top of the mat to the front side. Inhale, both arms come up, sky side. Both hands to prayer, heart side. Good, right elbow to the outer left knee, left eye. Lunging prayer to us. And it's beautiful because here I am. I'm sweating, I'm detoxing, my muscles are getting fatigued, I'm moving my body in all these different, these different planes of movement. It's challenging, but I've learned at this point to embrace the challenge. I don't mind the challenge. And I know that it's an investment. And by moving through the discomfort, moving through the challenge, it just makes the rest of my day just feel so incredibly amazing. I'm just like remembering this power that exists inside of me every time I get onto my mat. Take an inhale there. Step the right foot forward, top of the back. Twist the chair. Can you get your heart higher than your hips? In order to do that, you gotta squat those hips back and down. Some of it may have to do with the anatomy of your knees and just the size of that joint socket. But best as can be, pull your heart forward, upward and outward, almost like you're, you're doing a tiny little pull. Give that one last little squeeze and then chair pose, inhale, both arms up, stand up, mountain pose, hands up. let that wave, that intensity pass. And remember, all things are impermanent. Every pulse eventually subsides away. Every life experience passes. Every breath passes. It's all so ephemeral. And all I can do is to be the awareness, the one who knows, the one who sees from a place of wisdom and perspective. From here, lean into the right foot. Lift your left knee up. Grab your left shin, squeeze your left knee deep in. If you want, grab the outer edge of the foot, or if you prefer to modify, just catch the knee. See what feels right for you. And take that left arm, extend it all the way back as we come into a pose that's not only balancing, it's also a deep twist. This class is using the mechanics of twisting to help purify the body to wash away the stagnation, to bring in circulation, to increase the life force, the prana within your body. Now from here, turn to the front. Extend those arms to the sky. Extend that leg out. Okay, one last inhale there. Airplane, left leg back. Arms wide as can be. Only here for a couple of breaths. So get it while you can. And remember, when I let go of the things that are no longer serving, I begin to soar. Now from here, crescent pose, left toes softly to the back of the mat. Take the arms to the sky. One last big inhale, reach. Set both hands to the ground, pause there, straighten your right knee, right leg. Step the left foot forward about a foot or so. Turn the left toes forward to face the top left hand corner of the mat. And with those hips in neutral, and with your mind in equanimity, Go ahead and lean into your five left fingertips. Take the right arm and reach into the sky. Being a yogi, it's about being able to move through highs and lows, challenging poses, easy poses, pleasurable situations, difficult situations, but not being so reactive to those external circumstances that what I can control exists inside of me. It's how I respond to those difficulties that's where my power resides. Take one last inhale, roll that right chest wide. 
set that right hand down to the ground. Crawl your hands forward and out, and then lift your left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Take a moment, notice both hips in neutral, maybe a block underneath the left hand. When you're ready, take the right arm and reach it all the way to the sky. And there's a lot going on. So can you be the eye of the storm? Can you be the stillness, the steadiness, the shining example of what's possible? In the midst of chaos, there is the capacity to remain centered, peaceful, good. Now, if you want, bend that back foot in. Reach back with that right hand. It's only an option. Pull your heart forward. Good, roll the right chest open. Remember to suck that breath deep and low. You got this. Now left leg to the back. Right arm to the sky. Huge inhale, open wide. Exhale, right hand down. Left leg still up. Walk your hands in towards your right foot. Good, grab the back of your right foot with your right hand. And while you can, close the gap a little bit between your forehead and your shin. Stretch the back of that right leg again. Good, one more inhale, left leg up. Set left foot next to right, top of the back. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees and squat. Chair pose, inhale, both arms come up. Hands to prayer position, right elbow, outer left knee, left eye. Chair twisting to the other side. Good, optional side crow if you want. So you can stay in the twisted chair, all good. Or, both hands on the ground. Take the fingertips. Turn those over towards the left, and then just climb aboard. Both knees right on top of the right tricep. Maybe you lift up for half a second, all good. You're just practicing. I'm focusing on the effort and not the outcome. I'm embracing imperfection. It's all good, that's important. And the level of mindset. Now come back to chair. Take a big inhale, lift those arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Awesome, you guys. Flat back in out. Step or jump back. Lower down. Vinyasa exhale. Cobra up dog in out. And then downward facing dog exhale. Take an inhale. Downward dog. Release the knees down. Tuck the toes underneath. Lift the knees up. Floating table side kick groups. Take an inhale. Cock that left arm back. Extend that right leg out. And exhale, left hand down, floating tape. Inhale, kick the left leg out, right arm back. Exhale, floating tape. Now on your own, continue there. Just a few more rounds. But see if you can sink in and link it up with breath. So inhale, you come back to middle. Exhale, you kick the leg out, you cock the arm back. And as you kick that leg out, really kick it out strong. Good, if you want, you can even speed it up just a little bit. You don't have to, but just find your flow. Just kicking and moving. Good breathing and reaching. Last five, four, three, two, one. Back to floating table. Take an inhale, keep those knees lifted. Exhale, settle down. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, let it go. Woo, crawl the knees forward, top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you, release down onto your sit bones. Stand both legs straight out in front of you. How's everybody doing? We're still friends? Barely? Good, so for this one, you're gonna keep your left leg extended out. You're just gonna bend your right knee in. And then you're gonna take the right hand, bring it onto the ground behind you. You're gonna lift the left arm up to the sky, inhale. Then bend the left elbow. Place it onto the outer right knee, right thigh. And we'll just start to wind things down. So let the heart rate start to just lower back down. Let the breath smooth itself back at home. And just enjoy this moment, you know, where you just move through everything that you moved through. You showed up, you did what you could, you gave it your best. And that's all that we can ask ourselves. Just like if we have a child. Uh, we can only ask our children to just do the best that they can. In many ways, this practice isn't about perfecting ourselves. It's really about perfecting our compassion and our love, especially towards ourselves. 
From here, give it one last little squeeze. And then unwind, release. And then from here, we're gonna grab the bottom side of that right foot. And you're just gonna extend your right leg all the way up. Put your gaze right above that right big toenail there. Find your drishti. We'll add the twist. So we'll take the left hand to the outer edge of that right foot there. Take the right arm and reach it all the way towards the back. Good. And then come back to the front. Grab the other side of that right foot. And then just gently close the gap between your chest, your torso, and your right leg. Find your edge. Good, and then slowly, slowly, slowly lower that right leg down. Place the hands next to the hips for a moment. Staff pose, Dandasana. Take a moment, just come back to the breath. Good, and then bend the left knee. Left heel draws in, left hand to the ground behind you. Take the right arm up to the sky on the inhale. And then bend the right elbow, place it onto the outer left knee. Coming into that twist on the other side. Good, and then we'll turn back to the front. We'll lift those left toes up, grab the underside of that left foot. When you're ready, go ahead and extend your left leg all the way up. Same thing, just bringing your gaze slightly up. Drawing those shoulders back and down. Keeping your chest lifted up nice and tall. And if you need to, you can even bend the knee in order to do so. So spine always comes first. Our extremities, our legs, our arms come second to the spine. Awesome, right hand to the outer blade of that left foot. Take that left arm, reach it all the way towards the back. Few breaths there. Come all the way back forward to the front. Grab the underside of that left foot. Close the gap if you like between the chest and the leg. Nice and easily release that left leg down. Guess what, you guys? It's time for Shavasana. Let's come all the way down to the back. You did it. Good work. Beautiful job. Just come down to your back. Just take a last couple minutes of rest. You made it through the battle. You made it through the storm. Some of you barely made it through the battle, but you made it. Last couple minutes, just finding stillness. Make sure that there's not a place in your body right now where you're gripping. Sometimes unconsciously we have these places that we hold on to. Just make sure that everything releases, relaxes. Now let's go. Shavasana.
body from here nice and gradually. Nice and slowly start to bring your awareness back into your body. Invigorated, sweetly fatigued. And officially we're going to say that this detox flow is now, now in the rear view mirror and you made it, you did it, that's it for this one. If you want to stay here longer at home, feel free to stay here as long as you like. And just a reminder to stay on that food program, that you're eating well, you're giving your, your body good, proper nutrition. You're avoiding those processed foods, those bad fats, white flour, white sugar, white salt, they call them the three white devils. You're avoiding all that. And, uh, and that'll really help you sustain for these whole 108 days. So keep showing up, keep leveling up, and see you on the mat.